it's Cassie. I apologize for not making a video for such a long time. I've just been really busy and things have been going on and stuff. So, um, I'm really excited on making one today. Uh, so you can probably tell by the title and description down there. This video is all about things, like mistakes you're probably making when trying to lose weight. There's a lot of stuff that people don't realize is actually really unhealthy. So just keep watching and, um, I hope this helps some of you guys. And give this a thumbs up, please. So yeah, let's just get right on into it. <laughs> okay, so the number one way people try and lose weight, um, which is the most unhealthy, like I cannot say it enough, do not do this, uh, -uh if you're even trying to do this at all, just like, stop, just stop, no, uh-uh, no, no, this is a no, no, tisk tisk on you. Okay, it is under eating. <sighs> Don't do it, it will, it's just it's so bad, like what the heck, you think this is good for you? No, stop. Okay, so there's a ton of reasons why this is just completely like outrageous. Do not do this, it's so unhealthy. One, it just messes up your metabolism because your body's not getting enough nutrients and protein and things it needs to survive. A lot of people think that if you need to lose weight in a short amount of time, then they could just stop eating or eat crazy, crazy low calories or something and lose all that weight by then, like in a few weeks or whatever. Yeah, true, you'll lose weight, um, but you won't just be losing fat on your body. You're gonna lose muscle. You're gonna lose all your muscle. And even though you might not think it messes up how you're feeling, it really does. Like, I, you know, there's been a day where like I skip even just lunch or something and I'm just so used to eating like certain times of the day. It just makes me like sad or I get kind of mad sometimes. Like, it really does mess with you. And um, it's just, so unhealthy like do not do this please promise me pinky pinky promise right here right now stop and pinky promise me right now oh yeah yeah like boom boom next thing that people do when they're trying to lose weight sometimes that does not help is eliminating food groups like carbs for example you just need to eat the right type of carbs. You shouldn't have an excessive amount of any food group, I don't think, but to be really healthy and get all your nutrients that your body needs, I feel like you should have it from every food group. Another thing a lot of people do, especially women, is only doing cardio workouts. Yes, you'll burn a lot of calories and you'll sweat a lot and all that, but in the long run, weight training will actually help you keep weight off and help your metabolism and burn more calories throughout the day than just cardio does. Because the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn when you're just sitting there doing nothing. The muscle burns fat faster. In the long run, weight training plus cardio is most beneficial. Okay, this is number one, two, three, four. Numero quattro. Quattro? I'm, I'm too white for this. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Uh, the next thing it what was I, I was even on it. Not treating yourself. People think that, oh, if you want to be healthy, then you just have to eat healthy every single day of your life. No, no, that's, that's not possible. Like, people just think you can't treat yourself, and so, like, cravings and all this kind of builds up inside of you, and then one day, you just binge eat and all this stuff, and, it, like, then it just kind of, your whole diet plan that you set out to do kind of just falls apart and so not only does it just help you kind of mentally you feel satisfied but also it actually helps you like burn more calories and set your metabolism and like basically it just like sends an alert through your body like whoa 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 i'm getting unhealthy stuff like this is weird this isn't like normal and stuff and so your metabolism kind of goes a little crazy but it, it helps speed it up and then when you get back into like doing a workout and stuff, it actually helps things a lot, believe it or not. So I would say once a week or, you know, a few times a month or something, have a cheat day, have a cheat meal, whatever. It's it's okay. Don't worry. It, you'll be okay. I know you will. Ooh. Okay, another thing is when people think just about calories. Um, you know, you've seen the little bags of cookies that are like only 100 calories and you think like, oh, that must be healthy, I should eat that. No, you're wrong, you're really wrong. Like, that's not healthy, that just means it's low in calories. When manufacturers make things low in calories, normally they either put more sugar in it, more fat, more just 
artificial weird ingredients that you look at and you don't even know what they are you can't even pronounce them they're just fake like they're not like ew like who even knows what they are that's disgusting look at the ingredients of food that is the most important thing if there's stuff especially in the first four or five ingredients that you can't pronounce that's like ding 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 don't eat it that you want to have as natural and as good of food like from the earth that you can because that actually like you know what it is you know what's going into your body what it's doing to it those other things like who knows even scientists might not know what it exactly does to your body in the long run especially like so for example over here if you have a smoothie that's all fresh fruit and say almond milk or something like that it's all really healthy but it's 300 calories and then over here you have a diet Pepsi which is zero calories but you can't pronounce any of the names of any of the ingredients in it well this one's low in calories but this one's way better for you you actually get nutrients out of it this one will make you gain weight super duper fast this one actually helps you like it helps you lose weight even though you're getting more calories like this is what you guys need to understand don't think about calories just think about what you're actually putting in your body and what it's doing to you Think quality of food, not the calorie content. Keep that in mind. Boom, right up here, boom, boom. The next thing is if you don't warm up or stretch before and after a workout, um, or cool down after a workout, um, because you're more prone to pull muscles, um, you'll be more sore. So if you wanna kinda cancel out that, then you should stretch afterward, but also, um, you'll be more prone to just pulling your muscles because they'll be tight already and then any movement you do especially if you like sit down right after you start running and then you get back up again you might be like oh like you pulled something and um so that's not good so always just warm up and stretch before a workout and then stretch as a cool down after a workout and it'll really help you just to prevent injuries and things like that so another thing pretty common with teenagers especially is not getting enough sleep you do not like understand how important it is to sleep the mo the three things that are the most important to living a healthy lifestyle is your diet exercise and sleep um sleep yeah you know you're more awake and up and ready and stuff like that so that helps with that also you'll be more motivated to work out and eat healthier just because you're fully rested and all that but also the sleep is when your muscles have time to recover and repair and so even if you did a super duper intense workout the day before say you lifted a bunch of weights like using your arms and stuff um, they'll be more recovered and you'll actually get muscles faster and easier when you sleep more because your muscles have time to do that. The next thing is expecting fast results, okay? Any fitness or health goal you have is not going to happen overnight. It's just, it's not. It's not going to take a day or a week or a few weeks or a few months even. It might take years and years. It might take a whole lifestyle to get yourself ready for this and everything and it's not gonna happen overnight so find something that motivates you to keep going don't expect fast results and make that make, 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 you, make that make you stop make make that make you want to stop does that make sense i don't know i don't really make sense most of the time so anyway um don't let that don't let that make you stop. Yeah, don't let that make you stop um, trying to achieve your goals because it will happen one day. If you're a hard worker and you're doing everything, putting everything towards it that you can, it's gonna happen one day. The last one kind of fits in with where I said just thinking about calories. This has to do with diet drinks. Um, they're not good for you believe it or not there's to make it diet to make it low in calories or low fat or whatever it is they add a bunch of just weird stuff to it normally especially sodas they might be low in calories not have sugar in it whatever they'll have all this artificial stuff that'll actually be worse for you than 
Even the normal drinks, like Diet Coke, is so much worse for you than regular Coke, even though it's lower in calories and sugar and all that stuff. Because it just has all this other weird stuff that does different things to your body and makes it even worse for you. Okay, I'm done blabbering my mouth right here. That I'm sorry I talked so much. I'm gonna try and keep this video under seven minutes. I, this might be very hard, I apologize. Um, but I hope I got my point across to some of you guys. If these were things that maybe you were doing and you were like, oh, what the heck, did you hear that? Oh, my voice just did open. Okay, <laughs> let's start over. Um, whatever, I hope this helped you. Um, yeah, if you have anything to say to me, then comment down below. Again, I'm sorry for not making a video for a long time. But yeah, any video requests you have or anything, just tell me and... Don't make these mistakes. Stay healthy, stay fit, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>